What's happening, Internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com, and today I'd like to talk to you about phishing websites. A phishing website is simply where one website will act like they're another website, just to steal your information. Oh, wait, hold on, I think I got a message. Oh, it's an email from my bank. It's a way to verify my account. Oh, I'll just click on this link. Oh, so you just want my account and password? Okay. All right, let's talk about phishing emails. Now, a phishing email is simply where you're sent an email from somebody who you think is a verified source, whether it be your bank or one of your friends or something like that. You think it's from a verified source and it's actually from somebody trying to trick you. And what they do more times than not is they'll send you a link inside of the email that says, hey, click this to do something important right now because something else important will happen if you don't. And a lot of times with these links, you can hover over that link and it'll show you what the link actually is. And a lot of times they'll try to trick you with websites that look very close to other websites. Like if it was Bank of the West, instead of a W in West, they might have two Vs. So they'll try to trick you with things like that to sending you to the websites where the address will look similar to your bank's website and also where the message will be some sort of urgency via verify this now or we must check double check your status. Things of that nature. So. Whenever checking these emails, especially from your bank, you don't want to click on any of the links. And a lot of times inside of the email, they'll have pictures that they're verified and pictures that they're safe, but those are just simply pictures. So a lot of times when you get an email from your bank and if you have a problem, you can email them, you can email your bank directly and say, hey, I think there's been a fraudulent email. They'll verify that for you no problem because that's uh, something they're looking out for. Another thing too, if a friend or a relative sent you an email and it seems kind of out of the sort and maybe there's something that just seems weird about it, email them back and say, hey, I'm not sure clicking about that link you just previously sent me and it just uh, verify something that's sent your way. And another thing too, when looking through these um, important emails about your account getting hacked or about importance in email or your bank sending you an email, a lot of times these emails will have misspellings. And so if you look for those as well from the official sources, you'll be able to spot those phishing scams. Another thing too, when you sign up for a lot of accounts and things of that sort, more times than not, every single account will tell you, we will never ask for your password and information. Again, just be cautious when you see those things online. If you do come across a link that you're not sure about clicking on, you can just copy that link straight into Google, paste it, and just see what happens. I mean, you can even put quotations around it so that exact item will be searched. Search these web links and see if they come up as legitimate sources or if they come up as scam websites. All right, guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one. And that'll be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com. And remember, only you can prevent spyware, viruses, and all that bad stuff on the internet.